thing because you just make fun of it. I'm sorry. But speaking of animals, we do have Tiger Safari here. Bill Meadows yes. from, well, not here today, but you're going to see it oh, on air. Oh, Tiger is my favorite is, animal. Okay, well, hold on. I'm going to okay, talk about I'm it. Stop. And so, Tiger Safari, they've been on Oklahoma Live plenty of times, but you're going to see it today with our friend Ed Murray because yeah. he was out at Tiger Safari Zoological Park hanging out. Take a look at what he got into. So you want up close and personal. Well, how about standing a couple of feet from nine feet and 900 pounds of grizzly? Now I think I know how prey feels. And you get that closeness at every turn on Tiger Safaris at 45 acres. And one of the best places to take it all in is 30 feet up in the air at one of the three places where you can actually spend the night here. This is called the Jungle Safari Treehouse. Um, this and the African Safari Hut, which is just uh, east of this building here. And the Primitive Camping, which is uh, just west of there, is uh, three areas that you guys can camp out here uh, for overnight stay. Now, what does he eat? <laughs> meat. Mainly meat. <laughs> meat. Uh, there's meat. There's some good vegetables as well. <laughs> He's a meat eater. So oh, good. Have... When the kids come out here, we actually put them on a tour and uh, do a lot of interaction with the kids. They hold different things like anacondas, um, baby tigers, uh, kangaroos, um, small baby lemurs and what have you out here. We give them a tour throughout the park. Um, and when they have special occasions, we have the kids feed the alligators, which makes it really cool. And um, give them a safari tram ride. We have a little tram out here. We can give the kids a tram ride throughout the park, which is, makes it really nice for late night stuff. And then we tell them stories and what have you, which makes it really exciting for the kids. Adults might want something even more unique, especially for a special getaway. The African Safari Hut is something that kind of I grabbed a hold of after I went to Africa. Um, basically, it's, a, it's, it's an African bungalow. It's all direct out in the mahogany. Um, so it gives you the kind of feel when you go in. It's, it's on stilts. Um, it has a, a wraparound porch on it, so it makes it really nice. People can just, um, it's, and it's also got a motor around it, uh, which will have lemurs on it, which will be called Lemur Island. Um, there'll be actually one more hut uh, under construction starting next week. All we see is going to be setting posts for that. Um, and there'll be a rope bridge in between hut one and hut two. But it'll, it'll allow people to have a little bit plusher accommodations out here. They can, they can sign up for one night or as many as a week, of course. Um, we've just had a, a, a family come in from Chicago that spent three nights in a row out here. Uh, this makes it totally different. People that are animal lovers would really want to lay in bed from the hut and listen to lions roar from their bed, which makes it really cool. And it's outside the park grounds, of course. We have a, a separate access road uh, from the parking lot uh, to the African hut. And uh, when we have people st uh, stay in this treehouse, we have to have people stay in here with them. So These are guidelines. These are all guidelines, yeah. Yeah, that you follow, obviously. And if you just like to rough it, you can rough it. We got primitive camping in the back with a big fire pit, so it makes it, you know, porta potties, the whole pit. So the, ba the back part for scout troops. Um, especially is a, is a big deal for them. No matter which site you choose, it's an overnight stay you will never forget. Early in the morning, you have the Gibbons, the Gibbons apes hooting. You have the lions and tigers a roaring. Uh, you have the hyena hackling, uh, and, and then all the birds making a whole bunch of rackets. So this whole place is on fire in the morning uh, because everybody's making a racket. Once it gets hot, two or three in the afternoon, everything's pretty quiet. But first thing in the morning. Uh, Anybody that's out here just, just loves to sit down and drink coffee and enjoy the sounds of all the different animals. Oh, those animals are so cute. Yeah, I didn't know you could spend the night out there. That, yeah, you can spend great. the night among the animals. That, I would love to do that. Don't you think at the end of that package we should have had like Ed Murray holding up a baby yes. lion? Simba. I know. I wish Ed Murray would hold me up like that. Oh, that'd yeah. be precious. I mean, a Circle host of Wild Card, by the way, right. Ed, Ed Murray, which yeah. we love. Yeah.